we get a lot of questions uh, regarding online courses about Zoom meetings. And so I wanted to show you how to understand the schedule so that you know if a course has Zoom meetings or if it doesn't have them at all. So I'm starting at the college homepage. And so this picture, like it changes, so this may be different, but I'm gonna click on the schedule page here. Um, you can, if that changes, depending on when you watch this video, uh, you can also find it here on the side. Um, there's a bunch of different places you can get to it. So I'm just going to hit this one and hope that it's going where I want. So you should land on this page about the schedule and it gives you some videos about how to use the schedule builder and how to create your schedule. And these are very helpful if you're new to the college or you're not sure how to use the schedule builder. Um, so I'm not going to go through those. Uh, there are some other links here and then the sort of old schedules. The new schedule is here. Well, when I'm recording this video, this is the new schedule. Um, but you should see your year and semester um, on this page. All right, there's two different types of um, schedule builders. There's the new one and then the old one. All right, um, I'm going to show you both of them, but just for ease of use, I'm going to start with the old one. And that way, if, um, you know, you may be able to end the video early and already get the information you need. So I'm going to choose Contra Costa. I'm going to choose the current term. And I'm showing you psych because that's where I teach. And I'm just, we're going to look at everything. Courses have already started, so you're going to see a lot of things that are full. Um, but what we want to look at is how the courses are offered. Um, so we're going to start here on the first one, which happens to be one of mine. And you can see that it says off and online. And it's like, well, there's no guide here to tell you what does that mean? Well, this means that it is off campus, meaning that it is an online course. And since there's no date or time or location, this would be considered an asynchronous course where all instruction is online and there is no Zoom meeting at all. There might be optional things, but there's no required Zoom meeting. So if you see off and online like this, it means it's asynchronous. And asynchronous means that there's no set time. Now, if we go down here to Dr. Arnold's class, you see off and online too, but then you see days and times. This is a synchronous online class. It meets online only, off campus and online, but it has Zoom meetings on these days and times. So when you're choosing a course, if you want one that does not have Zoom meetings, you choose one that is off online with no days and times. If you want Zoom meetings, then you choose one that is off online with days and times. Now there's some that are what are considered hybrid courses. And those are courses that have some meetings, but not all the time. And they may be on Zoom and they may not be on Zoom, right? So let's look at those. Okay, here's a good example of a hybrid one. So this one has all kinds of stuff. It has off online, it has days and times and a room. And then it has days over here. Okay, so this is hybrid. This means that it is mostly online, but there are some meetings. These, the meeting dates would be listed here. So if you don't see anything listed here, it means it would meet every week at that time. But this course only meets on these days at this time in this room. So this is considered a hybrid course. So make sure you always read the comments when you're looking at the courses because it's going to give you specific information, especially since this is confusing in a lot of cases. All right, let's go back and look at the other type of schedule builder that we have. The other one is called, I think it's called the visual schedule builder. So I'm going to open that. This is new. And if you need help using this, make sure that you see the Welcome Center or Zoom with the Welcome Center on campus. So this one has a lot of options for you to choose. So the first thing you want to do is narrow it down to a CCC. 
for course type, let's unselect in person and look at just how fully online appears. We can decide on the weeks here. I'm just going to leave them all marked and then I'm going to type in psych. You'll see a list of all the courses. Now in this schedule builder, you can't look at all the offerings in a department at one time, but you can look for certain courses and see all the sections of that course. So I'm going to go down to general site because it has a lot of sections and we'll look at that. So now you're going to see all of the fully online offerings for general psychology at Contra Costa College. And so you can see here that some of them are asynchronous and some of them are synchronous. You cannot differentiate between them using this tool, um, but you know there's none of these that have an in-person meeting. They may have Zoom meetings, uh, but they do not have any on-campus meetings. So again, important to look at the notes um, and you should see that if it is synchronous, meaning it does have Zoom meetings, you should see that here in the notes. And again, just like the other schedule builder, you're gonna see days and times. You'll see off online, days and times. This is synchronous. If we go to the next one, we see fully online, no days and times. This is asynchronous, meaning no Zoom meetings. So let's choose partially online. And we kept the same course and we see that partially online means that part of the class is online and the rest of the class has mandatory meetings in person in this room on these dates. And so again, you see partially online on this one, and then you see a room. You see days and times, and then make sure to look for the dates. If there are no dates, it means it meets every week at those times. If there are dates, it means it only meets on these dates. All right, I hope that helped clear up a little bit about how to determine if the course you are choosing has Zoom meetings or does not have Zoom meetings. Thank you so much.